Hi there! Welcome back to our TypeBitcoin series. Today, we are going to explore how to make your data pipeline more efficient with TypeBitcoin's task skipping features. These features can enhance both the pipeline execution and the end user experience. Let's get started. In our last video, we created a new data pipeline with TypeBitcoin and TypeBitcoin Studio. But let's consider a more common scenario in data processing. You only need to tweak a few tasks while the rest of the pipeline remains untouched. In such situations, rerunning the entire pipeline, change or unchanged task, is neither efficient nor time saving. This is why the power of Type by Core truly shines. Type by Core has a feature called Smart Task Skipping. To understand how it works, picture a pipeline filled with multiple tasks. You execute your pipeline once, then make a minor adjustment in a task or a data node. Now, when you run the pipeline again, Type by Core intelligently detects which resulting data nodes have been altered and only runs the necessary task. This feature is a game changer for complex data pipelines, as it not only streamlines the development process by saving time, but also aids in identifying and eliminating redundant tasks. Now, let's switch on this feature. So start by navigating to Type by Studio. Here, you want to select the task where you'd like to enable task skipping. On the configurations panel on the left, you find an option labeled skippable. Simply toggle this to true and you're all set. Next, we'll modify the filters data frame right after the first task and we submit the scenario to demonstrate type by course task skipping features in real time. In this example, I'm filtering out sales entries for store ID 2633. After that, I will submit scenario 1 for the second and the third time. Let's watch what happens when the file executes. As we examine the results, you will notice something interesting. For the first submission, both tasks were triggered and executed as expected. But as we drove into the second submission, you'll see a different scenario. Here, the first task was actually skipped, despite the fact that it was part of the pipeline. Why is this? Well, it's because this task was already executed during the first run, and there were no changes that required it to be run again. However, the second task was executed again, due to the modification we made in the intermediate data node, filter DF. So this demonstrates how Type by Core Smart Task Skipping feature works. It recognizes that the first task didn't need to be rerun, and so it was skipped, saving time and computational resources. Moving on to the third submission. Here, you'll notice that both tasks were skipped. The reason for this is that there were no additional modifications made to the data or task after the second submission. So this, means that the, so this means that the pipeline recognized that no task needed to be run, and therefore, all tasks were skipped. This is a prime example of the efficiency of Type by Core's task skipping feature in action. And there you have it, a practical demonstration of the task skipping feature of Type by Core, saving time and resources when running your data pipelines. Thank you for joining us for this tutorial. Cheers!